All right, we are back in the booth this afternoon doing some swim baits. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do a perch swim bait. Um, I forgot to hit the button on play. When I'd already put in, I've already put my base coat on, which is um, Audubon Sealer White. And then I put a couple coats of titanium white over this. And then I put a coat of um, golden shard fluoros and chartreuse over the top. And um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use some stencils from Insane Custom Stencils and Whitmore Farms together on this. I'm gonna do like a, a layered stencil for my stripe pattern on this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use, it's called the Diamond V2 from Jeff. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it on top And then I'm gonna lay my perch stencil over top of that. And I'm just gonna try to get this lined up the way I want it. And get up high enough. That's the key to this. And then what this does, I've got some carbon black in my gun. On, I'm shooting it on about 15. See how that turned out. And that turned out pretty cool. And what it does is it gives you the scale pattern in your um in your stripes. Kind of gives it a different, it's a different technique. And uh, I'm gonna pull my airbrush over. I mean my heat, my blow dryer over here so I can heat set this as I go, then I don't get wet paint all over everything. Let me get this heat set it real quick. And I'm using the fine part of this diamond stencil. I like the little one better. And well, I, excuse me, I'm using the larger one on this. I, I meant to use the smaller one, but so we'll put this on, slide it down, lay it flat so we can try to see this. And then all you'll do is just match up your, your stencil on the bait here. And what we may do is just do, just line it up and use the one twice and then go smaller after that. until I get it where I need it to be. And that's probably what I'm gonna do. I can do that one more time. I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit more. And it kind of gives it a neat effect never tried this before. It's on low pressure, so it's not hard to, to paint. And that gets that there. And then what we'll do is we'll put a smaller one there. We'll just line it back up. And I've got some smaller size ones here that I'll use. because I'm going to take it. We're only going to do one side of the bait. Um, and then I've got some real small ones that I'll put right here on this tail side. I still got to do the top, so I really don't worry about that. I can, I can make that, I can blend it back in to fix any of those issues. And we'll put two more right here. And that 
that'll finish that up. We'll leave the black in the gun because what we want to do now is I want to I want to blend the the top in. I'm going to put a little bit of orange on the belly. And what I can do with this is we can take the I can take my bigger scale pattern and I can shoot it on the top and I can blend it back in. You know, it's a little tougher with these swim baits because you're you're having a lot more to handle. So you, what you probably want to do is do them a section at a time instead of trying to, to spray the whole whole bait at once. Um, and then you can probably blend it a little bit better. So what I'll do is I'll set it down and I'll pinch it with my hand and then I'll come down to where I need to on the bait. Then I'll just go up top. And I can take that off. If I don't get it hung in the hook eye. And I'll do the same here. This is a little bit more difficult because of the fin that's on this bait. I've never painted one of these. I've had it for a while. I figured I'd do some of these and get them. Give them a whirl and get them out of the get them out of the shop and you can blend those in and then what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of black and I'll go up that fin like that that gives it kind of a realistic look So what we'll do is we'll pull that back over. The tail's always fun because of that. It's gonna be real. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the tail. Darken it up a little bit. And we'll darken the eye. We'll touch up these fins here. I have put a little chartreuse on those. If you don't feel comfortable freehanding those, just Get a stencil, put a piece of cardboard up against them. It's no big deal until you, you know, get a little bit better with your airbrush. It's not a, you know, not a big deal. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch guns and I'm gonna put a little bit of orange on this. Whoa, that wouldn't, that would have been bad. I'm gonna put a little bit of orange ink and we'll put it on the belly of this perch. I kind of like the orange on it. The good thing about the ink is it's very, very user friendly. That wasn't too good. I'm spilling it all over the place. Um, it's not hard to use. They're very easy to spray. that back and what I'll do is I'll just hold it up like this and I'll take my other gun I'll just test it out and it's gonna spray really easy and all I'm gonna do is just throw one down here Gives it a, a really cool perch look. I know some perch are a lot lighter than this, but I kind of wanted a little bright. I'm going to use this for my striper fishing. There's perch in the river, and I know they'll they're about this color, pretty close to it. Um, and they'll crack them pretty good. One other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to heat set this really fast.
just a second and we'll, we'll play around with this gill real quick, get a little bit of detail on this. And we'll f put some eyes in this one and finish it up. But the double stencil technique's a cool, it's a cool technique. It really kind of gives the lures a, um, a different look than normal, what we're used to, you know, when we're used to spraying some of this stuff. So I'm just gonna take the wing ding and I'm just gonna lay it up against this and just kind of, it would help if I switch my gun. Let me clean this out real fast. I'm not gonna do a whole lot. I'm gonna put a little bit around this. I'll not make the video too long today. I'm gonna make another one this evening. Switch back to my Creos. And all I'm gonna do is just, just kind of touch up this, this gill. I'm not gonna do a whole lot to it, just darken it a little bit. Just put a little dark spot on it. Just darken it just a little bit. I don't want to do a whole lot to it. Just It kind of just finishes it off. to do a whole lot on there. Old needles. Got some dry tip. I want to act up a little bit today. That's a good thing about the wing ding. You can use it for a lot of things. Just darken it up just a little bit. Kind of give it some, give your gill a little bit of detail. We can take a little bit of a model and put a little bit on there, on the, just a little bit on the face. Around this nose. Just give it a little bit extra. Gun's really acting funny today. For a minute, I'm gonna put a um a seven millimeter eye in this one. It's a kind of a gold and black looking down eye uh, self adhesive. I think it'll look really good in this swim bait. with a little bit of high detail on the on the stripes so what I'm going to do I'm going to put it back in on um, in the good old helping hands and I'm going to hit it with a, a coat of UVLS I just made a UV resin small one I'm actually going to be building a bigger one with Kyle Simmons. I just had made a little small one just to play with having my other shop. I've, I'm, I've got another shop I'm having. I've, I'm getting started and I'm not close through with it yet, but when I do, I'll give a tour of that um, and let everybody see it. I'm getting a new another new booth and a lot of stuff that um, I've been wanting to do for a while. 
So what I'm going to do now is I've already had some pre-mixed. I've got some UVLS high gloss. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my pressure back up to about 40. And I'm just going to hit the bait with it. And just gloss it on up. All we did on this one pretty much was uh, use a couple of different stencils for the scales. Um, kind of put my twist on it, you know, put a little model on the face. I like that. It just makes it look a little bit better. I mean, it's probably a little bit dark for a perch, but I just kind of, these colors always catch fish for me in the river. And there is a lot of perks, and they'll they'll resemble it. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Uh, I appreciate all the support. We just hit ten thousand hours watched. And I can't tell y'all enough how much and how blown away I am, humbled really, um, with the support I've gotten with this. Uh, if you ever have any questions or comments, you can always PM me. You can hit me down in the in the comment box. I would always be glad to help you. Um, hit the like button, subscribe. We're really starting to get this thing going in the right direction. Um, I hope you like the perch. It's kind of a wild one, but, um, but I'm going to have fun fishing it. So hit the bell notification so you know when I got upcoming videos. And as always, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.